Hi guys, it's Matt here from Maxon UK and in this video we're going to be looking at creating realistic looking glass. Now, it's a tricky substance to kind of get quite right, but I'm going to show you how to kind of get yourself started and then we will use a model that we have previously made, a bottle, and then we shall apply it to that so you can see how it would look. So glass materials are made through creating just a standard new material, which is what I'll do here and then double click to bring up the editor. Now what I have a tendency of doing is to just remove the color channel and turn on transparency. Now as you can see it makes it completely disappear because it's just being passed straight through. But over here we have a whole load of nice refraction presets. Now I've got everything from beer to uh, milk to water but of course the one that I'm going to be using is glass so I'm just going to create that and then what I'm going to do is create myself a sphere and we shall just drag and drop and apply it there and now if I do a quick render we just you know see not a lot to start with so what I'm going to do is just create myself a little bit of a scene to start with so a floor and then a physical sky and then do a render again and there you go we get a little bit more detail coming through with some nice refractions so looking at the reflections there and the specular highlights, I'm just going to change those a little bit because what we want is a much sort of sharper specular highlight, probably about, let's say, 15, but we want it to be much stronger. So now if I do a render, you can see we've got something that looks a little bit more like that sort of ball, which is fine. So let's try a slightly different shade. So create ourselves another sphere, and then I'm going to copy and paste this material and drag it to that. And what about materials that are not quite so clear? So let's have a look at the transparency. What I do is, you know, pick something like a slightly greener, um, you know, sort of shade there. Just use the greens and then let's do another render and see how that comes out. Okay, so that's cool. So think about, you know, Coke bottles and, you know, their sort of greeny bluish tint, which is quite cool. And then let's try a, another sphere and let's copy and paste that material, drag and drop that one to that sphere and let's go for an uber dark green. So let's go something a little bit more wine bottly, so say about 40%. Okay, and let's do another render. Okay, they're not bad. So let's see what things look like under a few different render settings. So I'm going to add in ambient occlusion and global illumination there. And we'll get a more realistic view of how those glass textures look. Okay, not too bad. They look all right in this scenario. So let's drag and drop them into our bottle model and see how they look on there. So I'm just going to select all of those three and copy. And then I'm going to go to my bottle and I'm going to paste these in. And then I'm going to create ourselves another little setup here. So I'm going to create a physical sky to give us some nice lighting. And then I'm just going to create ourselves a, a little sort of seamless background. So using the pen tool, I should adjust those points in a minute. Okay, that's cool. And then I simply I'll click that into the lathe. Oh, missed it. There we go. And now I shall move the whole thing up so that my bottle is nicely sitting on it. Cool. There we go. Just going to hide the bottle from Mo so I can sort out that central point. Make sure it's at zero. And that smooths that out. So just going to create another new material to act as my white background, which should be really nice. And then let's have a look how this works. So we need to add in our ambient occlusion and global illumination on. So ambient occlusion and global illumination there. And let's drag our first bottle texture and do a quick render and see how it turns out. Okay, there we go. That's given us quite a nice looking glass bottle there. I'm actually really quite pleased with that, how quickly that managed to come together. Let's have a look at the lighter green one and see how that does. Okay, again, I'm quite pleased with that. Imagine that on a Coca-Cola style bottle with all of those little 
bumps and ridges and things. So last but not least, let's try the darker wine bottle. Ooh, uh, it's a bit dark, so let's have a look at that material and see what we can do about lightening that up a bit. Um, so I don't want anything that's not quite so see-through as that. So also its reflection was a bit small, so I think I want to just increase its specular a tad on this one so that it filters out a bit. So let's see how that looks. Okay, cool. I'm quite happy with that. That doesn't look too bad at all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move that one over there and we should do a final render of all of them. I shall create another one which I shall move over there so that can be my water bottle. And then I shall create the last one and put the last texture on it. So let's just get that and move that across. So let's do a final render and see how that turns out. Okay, there we go. I'm quite happy with those three and the different types of glass that have come out of that. I hope this was a useful tutorial for you in uh, glass textures and things like that. And I will catch you in the next tutorials.